come and craft with me today as I put together this pink ballerina jewel box. Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in to hang out with me today. We are going to be making a pink ballerina jewel box. So I'm going to be using some supplies from the craft store as well as vintage materials. So let's get started. Okay, let me move this stuff off to the side here. And we're going to start out with our little box. I got lucky enough once to find a box full of these little jewel boxes. And of course, when I bought them, I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I have used them for so many things. I've made a lot of really pretty projects with these boxes. So our paint color today is a Waverly chalk paint, appropriately named Ballet Slipper Pink. I think I got this at Walmart. I think they are the ones that carry the Waverly brand. Um, if you're doing a search in your search box, just put in crafting chalk paint and you'll find anything that you're looking for on the internet. So just to save a little time here, um, I went ahead and, and painted my box. So I just covered the sides, the back, uh, let it dry. I think I used two coats and voila, the magic of video. We have our beautiful little ballet slipper paint box here. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Now, these, I thought these were really sweet. They had the satin inside. They have a little piece of cardboard in them. So I like the finished look of the cardboard. So I'll pull it out. And what I do, I just grab my glue. This whole project, by the way, is going to be assembled. Compliments of hot glue. Love hot glue. Okay. It's like that instant gratification glue. All right, I just glued that down there. So we have a nice finished off bottom even though we're never going to see it it just finishes it off nicely so the first thing I usually do with my boxes is I like to trim them off with something and I will use I really think this is pretty this is the rhinestone chain it always looks good on a jewel box so I'll use that sometimes I use um, a little bit of vintage lace today what I decided to use is this little pom-pom trim I thought that was so pretty and I pulled it out and I looked to see where I got it and I'm pretty sure it was the Target dollar spot. But this stuff is always available, usually at any in the trim department of any crafting store. So I cut a little piece. Let me just close this and let's go ahead and put this on here. Run some glue along the top and we're going to glue it on. This video today is dedicated to my beautiful little granddaughter. She is a ballerina and a hip hop dancer. And I gotta tell you, she loves watching my videos. She's probably my biggest fan out there. So that works both ways though, because I'm definitely her biggest fan. Okay, so this is an easy little thing right here. Just put our little trim on. Okay, there, isn't that cute? Okay, we'll finish off decorating up our box. This is a piece of bridal lace. At the craft store, they have, of course, the beautiful bridal lace available, and it's with a beautiful price tag on top of it, but I had a coupon that day, they were in sale, something like that, and I found this like a half a yard of unbelievably gorgeous bridal lace. I love this so much. And I bought it and it's just, it just goes a long way. A little piece for a project here, a little piece there, and it lasts you a long time and it's really lovely. So I just stuck that in there with a little bit of glue. Now, you know how I love crafting with old greeting cards and you know, these are some that have seen better days, so we don't mind cutting them up. And I opened, it was this one, I opened this one up, yeah, and I saw this inside. It's like, that is just so pretty. So I want to use it inside of my box. So let me just let me get this out of here. Okay, look at these old cards with the satin behind here. And there's nothing like vintage. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little paper punch here. I'm going to punch this out. 
this back a little bit more. Put that right there. This has like little scalloped edges. That's pretty. Okay. And I thought that might look pretty like right inside of here. It'll go really good with a little ballerina. So that was easy, right? You just pop that in. It's just a little back, little background for our box. Okay. Now our box is looking good. I'm going to set it aside and let's bring out our little ballerina here. Um, once again, if you in the search bar um, on the internet, just type in like cupcake topper ballerina, cake ballerina cake topper. You're going to find some of these. I think I found these. These were probably Etsy, and there was a little bag of them, and I used them so much. I've used them for so many things. So I thought we can dress her up a little bit to put her in the box. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is um, a piece of old tulle. This came off of something. I just, I don't know, I snipped it right off. You can use um, the, the roller tool, like the bridal tool from the craft store too. It works just as well. I'm just going to kind of gather this up in my fingers. It's just really nothing special, just a little gather there. I'm going to take a little dollop of hot glue and put it right here on the skirt of her dress. And right where I gathered it up, I'm just going to stick that on there, right in that glue. Okay. I might need to put a little extra. Let's just stick to my fingers. There we go. Now look at, she's got like her little tutu on right there. I'm going to grab, I got these little forget-me-not flowers. These are from Etsy. And they're pink and pretty. I'm just going to stick one on her little dress right there. Okay, so she's, she's looking better already, isn't she? All right. Now let me get out the um, my famous glitter bowl. Stuff out of the way. I'm just going to use a little Mod Podge. Always use it when I'm glittering. It's always easy and simple. And she has a little tiara on. I'm just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on her tiara here. Tiara. I should say tiara. Okay. This is a little silver glue. It's called Sterling. I know this is Martha Stewart. I'm going to guess I pulled it out of my glitter stash. This came from Michael's back in the day when um, they had all Martha Stewart products. But any little silver glitter you have will work. Okay. She looks good, doesn't she? Very nice. All right. Now we're going to bring our little box back out here. And I'm going to put her inside. So I'm just going to do a little dollop of glue on the bottom. Just going to press her down inside this little jewel box like so she is it's already starting to look beautiful right of course we don't really want that yellow base there we want to cover that up so what i'm going to use here once again i love using these feather boas they come in handy so this is um i think i got this at one of the craft stores touch of nature nature craft boa uh, i know that these are on amazon as well so if you're looking for one of those I'm just going to take hot glue and squeeze it out there in the bottom of the box. Take my little feather boa, stick it down in there like so. Okay, I got another little piece here to get a little bit better coverage, so I'll just glob a little more glue in there. Okay. Let's see, this little corner can use a little more glue. Uh-huh. There we go. You see how beautiful she's looking and how easy this is? Okay. Now, I found this little earring in my little stash box. These are my these are my little clip-on earrings I pick up when I'm out at the flea market, and sometimes I find them at garage sales. Love those. So I just clip the back of the little the little clip part off the back and I thought that would look beautiful right there once again I'm just going to put a glob of glue on the back of that 
Okay. That right on the top. Looks pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. This is such a sweet little girly project. Okay. Probably overdid it with my globs of glue. Okay. Now, let me bring out a couple little things here. Got these. I have a real pretty little bow. This is out of one of my favorite flea market things. The seam binding ribbon. This color is just about finished. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, love the vintage to work with. So maybe the little bow right here in the corner would be pretty. Let's stick it on right there. All right. And then I've got, of course, these little forget-me-nots, these little pink forget-me-nots. But I can just add them around on the box. Okay, first let me find a spot for this before I start adding flowers. Um, you know how we cut out this beautiful little rose image from a greeting card? Well, from another greeting card, I found, I just looked at the words and I cut out right here and I love the, the vintage pink background as well. Um, it says, so very dear to me. But that would be pretty in our box today. So let's see where we want to put that. Okay, let me see. Maybe right here. I don't know. I think that's the spot. Hit the spot right away. Just going to do a little hot glue down the corner. I'll do another little dollop right there. There you go. Okay, I'm going to add a couple of these little pink flowers. Let's see, I need to cut a few off the stems here. Okay, this piece will be in my Etsy shop. Um, this week, Friday, uh, this Friday, May 15th, 2020. Um, and as always, I always make an announcement and share a bunch of pictures of what I'm going to be listing that week. So the links are below to my Instagram page, Facebook, and Etsy shop. So you can always see what I've got going on if you follow those. These little pink flowers are so sweet, aren't they? They just, they definitely can finish up a project. Adorable. I think I'm going to add a couple more just because they're so darn cute. Maybe up here in the corner. Okay, maybe one more. Okay, it's so much fun to find these little these little vintage pieces just like this little plain brown box can turn into this so what do you guys think there you go a pretty little pink ballerina jewel box that's fit for a princess if you enjoyed hanging out with me today please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more crafting projects Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.